Hey, welcome back to the workshop. For today's project, I'm going to try and make a set of uh, hikers trekking poles out of old golf clubs. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Check it out. Now, I don't really know how grips are attached to golf clubs. Um, I'm hoping that I can maybe just slice this lengthwise and peel it right off. Let's see. something under here. I think it's masking tape. That was easy enough. Okay. This one doesn't appear to be stuck down any tighter than the other one, so that's good. Yep, there's that tape again. Okay, those are done. Come apart real easy. Now it's time to cut the heads off of these. Now we've got our poles pretty much uh, cleaned up and trimmed to length. I think it's time to glue the, the tips on. Now I'm using JB Weld for this because one, I know it's a good tough glue and two, well that's what I got. It says squeeze out equal parts glue and hardener. That's, that's approximately equal. If you're off by a little bit, it doesn't matter. We'll just make sure we mix that up real good. All right. Now here comes the messy part. Gotta get all this glue down in that hole. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rough up the end of this golf club shaft with some 60 grit sandpaper to ensure that my glue gets a good stick. Okay, let's see how we do. Really didn't get any squeeze out. There's a ton of glue in there. I'm pretty confident it's stuck pretty good. Okay, man, that is a horrible mess. But too late now. Glue's curing. Gotta go for it. Okay, well, that didn't come out too bad. Um, it probably doesn't have as much glue all the way down to the tip of this thing as, as you would like. It's probably not all the way full, but that kind of doesn't matter because the golf club shaft only goes in an inch, inch and a quarter anyway. I think it's going to work out just fine. So let me get this uh, clamped up and, and let the glue cure, and we can move on to the next part of the project, which will be drilling out the handles. Okay, the first one's drilled up, and it's not exactly perfectly center, but that isn't going to bother me much. Let's see how we did. Okay. Yep, it's a good fit on the black one. Goes right on. And a yeah, pretty good fit on the gold one, too. Okay, so it's been a full 24 hours, and the JB Weld on these tips is set up just rock hard. They are never coming off of here now. The next thing to do is to put the handles on the other end. 
And to do that, I'm going to use a two-part epoxy um, because I looked it up and that's what they use to glue up uh, grips on fishing poles. And since I'm putting fishing pole grips on these, I think that's probably a good choice. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sand the entire length of this thing with 60 grit sandpaper. Up here, that's to give the glue a good place to stick. And down here, I know that later I'm going to be painting these. And uh, I'd like a good surface for the paint to adhere to. It doesn't take much sanding to prepare these, as whatever these are made of is fairly soft. Today we're using DevCon brand two-ton epoxy. This epoxy takes equal parts resin and hardener. We're just kind of eyeballing that. That seems about equal. If it's off by a little bit, it's not going to matter. This epoxy is pretty forgiving. The other thing I've done is I decided against the cork end caps I was going to use before. And instead I'm using wooden drawer poles uh, mounted up on some dowel rods that I'm going to glue in the ends of my golf club shafts. And these will be the top of my grips. Okay, here we go. This is probably way more glue than I really needed. But better too much than too little. Okay, this one's a tight press fit. We're going to have to pound it. Alright, well, it's never coming apart. to the next one. This one fits a little looser than the other one, but that's all right. There's plenty of glue in there to make up the difference. Okay, the handles are all glued up. The next thing to do is to slightly sand the handle around the top here to kind of blend it in to the wood knob. Okay, well, that kind of worked. Maybe I would have been better off to just leave that alone. So let's press on. The last thing to do with this project is I'm going to spray paint these uh, poles so that they both match. I'm going to use paper towel to mask this off. I would have used newspaper, but really, who has newspaper anymore? All right, we're gonna hit these with a white primer, a flat white, and then a nice uh, kind of gray-blue color. Okay, now we're all done. Let's see how they weigh in. My commercial aluminum poles 
weigh in at 20.5 ounces or 581 grams. My new graphite golf club poles weigh in at 8.3 ounces or 234 grams. And I think that about does it. For a couple hours worth of shock work, we've got a set of trekking poles that are lighter than aluminum store-bought poles, cheaper than aluminum store-bought poles, and I think they're going to last me a good long time. So I hope you found this informative, and I'll be back in the workshop with another project uh, as soon as I can. See you then.